Have you ever wondered if it's true that you can use your subconscious mind to manifest things? Well, hey, today I'm going to share with you some secrets how you can use your subconscious mind to manifest things. Hey, I'm Mark Nelson. I'm a former public school teacher. Loved working with kids. I just saw there's more things I could do. There's more people I could help. So as I began to transition out of teaching, I thought what I'm going to do is start coaching people. And I, I want to be careful with the word coach because I really want to be a mentor. You know, there, there's a lot of different titles for coaching. There's life coach. There's transformation coach. There's business coach. There's whatever type of coaches there are. And they're all usually pretty good. And the best coaches, I totally believe this, you do not have to be certified, even though many of them gone through coaching programs to get certified. I've gone through two. And it wasn't really to get a certification. It was to learn how to prepare more, to become a better person to ask questions, to get people thinking a little differently. Well, today I want to talk to you about your subconscious mind. You know, people talk about affirmations. They talk about manifesting different things. And really what it is, is your subconscious mind, and some people will say you need to meditate. Um, well, it's all, all very important. But your subconscious mind, it really is, you, you know, your conscious mind, when you're working, that's the logical one. That's what does things. Right, well, that's what puts things into action. And when you want to manifest something, you just can't say that I want this to happen. You do have to take action steps. It never changes. You got to do it. That's just how the world works, how anything works. So the subconscious mind, what it does, and I want you to think about this, right? Think about it. If you ever gotten a cut anywhere in your body, what makes it heal that? Right? It's your subconscious mind working with your body to heal those things. Have you ever thought about something in your life that you really wanted to create and you just kept thinking and thinking and thinking about it? And sure enough, it came true. That's the power of your subconscious mind. That's how it works. So I want to tell you how I use mine and how you should be able to use yours too. Your subconscious mind, what I do is I get a thought that I want to do and it, I'll think about it extensively. Right? I meditate on it. I visualize it. So let's say that you want to move somewhere. And this is actually what happened to my wife and I. Our kids moved. Uh, I'm originally from Wisconsin. Our kids moved to Tennessee. Right, 14 hour drive. And I was teaching school. My wife was working. Our kids were busy. We'd see them twice a year. And guess what? When they came back home, they wanted to see their friends. They didn't want to see their uh, parents, right? I mean, they did, but you know, you get what I'm talking about. So what we did, we wrote something down, put it on our refrigerator. And all it was, was we live within 10 minutes of our kids. There was no way it was going to happen. I was a teacher. When you're as a teacher, you get caught. You have to stay in a district for so long to get your pension. And I'd moved a couple districts. So I had some few years to go there. And it just wasn't going to work. No way. But we kept that up. So every time we went to the fridge, here's this, we live within 10 minutes of our kids. Well, if you read it enough, guess what I would say to myself at night? This was my meditation. As I'd close my eyes, I'd say, we live within 10 minutes of our kids. When I wake up, that was one of my thoughts. Now, did that happen overnight? No. But out of nowhere, it happened. Out of nowhere. I still had years to go to get my pension. 
And as our school was downsizing, and I, I had gone through my old cancer scare, I'm a colon cancer survivor, I got my years of experience. Now, also, because I've been teaching a long time, most schools don't hire teachers with experience. I'm saying that kindly because what I really want to say is age. <laughs> they just don't do it. Well, I put my application down in Tennessee. I had six schools call me. I got to pick where I wanted to go. It was unbelievable. See what happened, I truly believe this, the power of my subconscious mind. Or call it what you want, the universe, whether you believe in prayer, if it's God, or your religion, whatever. We set in motion that we were going to live within 10 minutes of our kids. So, here's your game plan. I want you to start thinking about what you want. Your vision. Where you want to go, what you want to do. Now, before you go to bed, when you close your eyes, you either read it or you sit down, close your eyes, and you think about that thought. If you wake up in the night, think about that thought. When you wake, wake up in the morning, think about that thought. I'd write it down somewhere so you see it. And what you're doing as you read it or as you write it, you're putting this seed into your subconscious mind. You want to manifest something in your life. And you're going to be the one to do it. Now, as you keep saying these things, right, you actually are going to be taking action steps to achieve this because that's just how this thing works. So, hey, I believe in you. I know you can make this happen. Believe in the power of you. Believe in the power of your self-conscious mind. And you all take care. Hey, I got a couple links down below. One I put together, unbelievable program that you can follow that would use your knowledge to put together a course to where you can make money online. I know that'll help you out. So y'all take care. We will talk soon.